Hi everyone, I hope all of you are doing absolutely fine. So we all have heard the news that our country is going to be locked down for the next 21 days or uh, 21 minus uh, whenever you're watching this video. So this video is going to be about how to make those 21 days productive. Okay, you could be a school student, you could be a college student, you could be preparing for any competitive examination or you could be anyone who wants to make their life productive in general. All right, so I'll be telling you uh, first of all some motivation as to why you should be utilizing this time well and all of that because i think that is really needed and you need someone to say that to you in times like these which would be followed by some content on how to plan out stuff and how not to miss on your deadlines okay so i would give you some of those di uh, directives all right and if you are specially preparing for examinations like iit j or neat in 2020 2021 or 2022 you should not forget and you should definitely not miss the last section of this video so especially you guys should watch this video till the end and if you don't have the time at least watch that portion because you don't want to miss that one that's going to be important for you all right so let's start with some why okay so i know it's very easy in times like these to think along the lines that all right ki kya hai yaar, 21 days ki chutti mil gayi hai we should probably uh, just you know watch netflix or whatever especially if you're an extrovert who, who likes to go out or some some stuff like that all right so ye sojna it's very easy but you should also realize the following things, all right? A lot of people in India, it could also be you, are going to suffer very severely because of the outbreak and because of the 21 days lockout, okay? And I'm not even talking of the corona patients or uh, people who have been affected by that, okay? So if you count those people who are suffering from the disease, that itself is a huge number. And apart from that, because of the lockdown, a lot of small businesses, a lot of private sector employees are getting laid off, okay? So they are not even getting their salaries. Some people are not able to run their small businesses. Okay, some people are just sitting at their homes and it could even be you or someone who is close to you and you all, know, you all know this reality, okay? So this leads to a lot of problems for them, okay? But you could also see it in a positive light, especially if you are a student, okay? Especially if you are preparing for any competitive examination or you are in college or school or where, wherever you are. If you are in those places, you don't have those pressures. You were never earning a salary in the first place. You just had to go to your school or work or wherever you're going. Okay, so you have to understand that this is a huge opportunity for you. This is something that those people are not getting, okay? This is something that probably your parents or whoever are working in the private industry or whoever in small business, they are suffering right now, okay? So they have got a lot of pressure. But you guys are free, okay? So you have to understand that you owe that time. You owe it not only to yourself, not only to your loved ones, but to the country to make that time very, very productive, all right? So I hope all of you are pumped up now to uh, make that time productive and do something meaningful in these days. So let's start with how and what to do. Okay. So if you are, uh, so let's say you're a student, okay, because most of the people on this channel are students. And I think that even working professionals can extrapolate this. So I think that all of you, pretty much everyone has got some major goal in their mind that, okay, mujhe itte din mein ye kaam karna hai. Or, I want to achieve, I want to read these many books, I want to uh, develop a six pack or I want to build some muscle or I want to lose some fat or uh, maybe you want to complete some pending work, you want to start some high side hustle which you, have all, which you have been procrastinating for a long time. All right. So I think it's very easy to think along of these ideas in a very discreet fashion. But one thing which people really don't do is to write it down somewhere. All right. So if you check out my social accounts which are linked in the description, I recently put out what I am going to do in the next 21 days on all my social media, okay? I tweeted it, I put it on Instagram, everywhere, okay? Just so that I I, I have put it out in public now, all right? So if I don't do it, I will feel ashamed myself, all right? So which is why I have put it, no, I'm not recommending that everyone should do it, but you should put it somewhere where you feel like you have to do it. Like it should make you feel responsible. It should make you feel guilty if you don't do it. All right. It could be your diary. It could be your study wall. It, you can tell it to someone who, who is your guardian or someone like that. Okay. So do, these are some uh, ways in which you can really make your decisions more affirmative and your ability to execute them more uh, efficient. All right. So this was about the goal setting. Now you have to make sure that you set goals which are a bit better or a bit or a bit uh, higher than what you can achieve okay so for example my goals for these 21 days are first of all i have to work out for twice the amount of time which i'm already doing or uh, i already work out for roughly 30 minutes or one hour if it's not intense so i have to double that or at least try to do somewhat uh, better than what i was doing so this is going to be a challenging task then i have to read 10 books okay i recently got myself 
an audio book, uh, audio book subscription and some e-books. So these are some targets which are, you know, it's not easy to read 10 books in 21 days. But if I aim for 10 books, then I will definitely do five books. All right, then I've got some work for my online startup, which I do on online education called Acad Boost, which is also linked. I will tell about that later in the video. Okay, so, and then I also promised myself to uh, do some other hobbies, which I always been, which, which, uh, for, for example, I really like writing on Twitter and Quora. So I'm going to do that a bit more. So these are some goals which are defined concretely and are a bit higher than what I think I can achieve. Okay, so this really helps you in a lot of ways. Okay, so you should do that. Okay, so first thing which I told you was to write down your goals somewhere where it will make you feel embarrassed if you if you didn't do, accomplish them. The best way to put it is to write it down on your Facebook or Instagram or wherever you, you think your friends would embarrass you if you don't do that. Second step is to make sure that they are concrete and something which is slightly bit higher than your capability. Okay, that you should make sure of. All right, then comes the period of deep work. Okay, so now a lot of people for, for a lot of people, it's very easy to listen to such advice, but they don't actually end up following them because they get distracted or something. All right, so I have made some videos on avoiding distractions. But the key things are that you should allocate a very dedicated period in your timetable ki yaar, is samay I will do this, this time I will do that, okay? Something like ki when you are going to school or coaching or your work, you have got a designated timetable, right? That 9 to that I wake up at this time, then I go to work, then or school or wherever you go. And then I come back at 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. or whenever you come back and then you have your food or exercise or, or whatever. So this will divide your time in that area and designate a work area for yourself. OK, if you're going to work for, let's say, eight hours, if you're going to study for eight hours, then designate an area for that and don't take any distractive item into that at all. OK, this is very important. So these are. So once you do that, you would feel like you are at work. OK, you could probably even try putting up some uh, props or some accessories which make you feel that you are actually at work. All right, so you, you can do some stuff like that. All right, uh, so yeah, this was it. Then I would also say that at the end of every week or maybe three or four days, make sure you're tracking down your progress because that's very important in your tabulating them and you could even write them down a post or whatever you want to do. Okay, this is something which really helps me out because if you know that, okay, I haven't done this much progress as I was supposed to do, then you could probably think along that why I did not achieve that. Maybe, maybe it was something on your part, maybe it was some external factor or maybe your goal was too big. Okay, so you will understand and you'll know deep inside that what you're lagging. Okay, so you can track and uh, try to do better. Okay, uh, yeah. So this was more of a very uh, rough idea of uh, you know how to do your stuff which is uh, which is applicable in general but I just thought that maybe I should make a separate video because a lot of people on my channel are students or working professionals who want to improve their lives in multiple ways uh, yeah so these are what all I had to say so first of all I told you to write down your ideas then I told you to be very quantitative about them be very clear and concise about them then you should try to aim a bit higher than you think you can Okay, then you should designate special areas for where you want to do and remove all distractions from your areas from from the from a work area. All right, and keep on tracking your progress. Okay, so now comes the portion for J and NEET aspirants. All right, so if you are a J or NEET aspirant, which I think a lot of people on my channel are, or even a student of class 11th or 10th or whatever you're doing. So in your case, you should put all the work time which I told about in this video as your study time. Okay, so nine to five will not be a work time; it will be your study time. All right. So just pack your books, go to your study table and study whatever you want to do. If you're studying especially for J 2020 or NEET 2020 or whatever, then you will have a lot of backlog topics which you don't know what to do about. All right. So these 21 days are really, really great for that. Okay. Pick up one topic in each PCM every day. Okay. You could pick up, let's say, uh, chemical bonding from chemistry. You could pick up uh, rigid ball dynamics from uh, physics and you could pick up PNC from maths. Uh, all right. So something like that. And then designate three or four hours every day to that topic. All right. And try to clear them up. All right. It's not very difficult. Just pick up your coaching or whatever study material you use. Try to solve the easy questions first, then go for the hard ones. You, you already know that I've told that several times in my videos. And uh, if you're preparing for J advance or if you are really good at what you're doing, then you could try solving some good books like I wrote over whatever. All right. I mean, you already know all that stuff. I just had to, to tell you the productivity stuff and and had to remind you of this. All right, if you don't want to do the hard work, we already have made courses for you on ACAD Boost. You can check them out. So for those who are not aware of us, ACAD Boost is my online education startup where uh, we provide courses for JNE preparations. All right, so we have got courses for J 2021 as well as 2020 aspirants. 
So if you are preparing for J2020 and you are not very clear with your basics, you could take up our level 100 absolute MATLAB course in which we have covered almost all important topics in JE syllabus in form of questions. And uh, that is available only for like, and you can revise all that in just a period of 30 hours. All right. So it has got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people have loved it. You can check it out in the description. And you can also take our course for class 11th revision, all right, in which we have revised all concepts till class 11th in a J advanced fashion, all right. So it has syllabus of J advanced in it, and it will really help you uh, gain your concept and theoretical understanding of the subject. So that is also recommended for both J 2021 and J 2020 aspirant, all right. And, uh, I'm, and I'm also announcing that we are also making a course on uh, for class 9th, 10th and 11th student who want to aim for different Olympiads, KAPY or just get a head start on their J preparation. So it will be more of an advanced syllabus of 9th, 10th and even some portions of 11th. So you can check. So you can sign up for that using the Google form in the description. Uh, yeah, I you, I got a feedback that I should not speak about Academus too much in the video. So I kept it at the end. I hope you didn't mind. So thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I hope you make this time really, really productive. And uh, please keep on updating me. You can send out your messages to me on Instagram. I am quite active there and I try to respond to as many DMs as I can. And if you like this video, you can like, subscribe or whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah, all right. I will make more specific videos for J aspirants, J2021, uh, 2022 and all that in which I will be in speak in detail key, uh, how you can use these dates or whatever time it is left. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, take care and stay safe, stay inside. And I hope we are able to recover after these 21 days. Thank you.